Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to export an executable file from Eclipse. So really quick before the video starts, over 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're part of that 90%, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and when you do subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get started. So say you have a program that you've written in Eclipse. So here I have uh, like a snake game, which I'm sure you've seen before. So if I run it, you can see I have this game where I have to eat the red uh, dot and my snake grows. But right now if I want to actually play the game, I have to click on run and open up Eclipse and stuff. But when you usually download stuff, you just have the little icon file that you just click on and it opens, right? So how you do that is you go to Eclipse, you open up your uh, program, you go to file, and then you go to export, and then you choose here, there'll be all these folders, so I'm just going to close them so it'll look like what it'll look like for you. Um, so this is what it'll look like for you. Um, and you're just going to open up Java and then click on Runnable Java File. So here you have the launch configuration. That's just basically uh, what you what program that you run in Eclipse. Um, it's just going to take that and make it into a Java file. In this case, it's just Window Tester 3. And then you're going to choose the export destination. Um, you can browse for that. I'm just going to do it on my desktop. Um, and you're going to choose a name. I'm just going to do snake.jar. And then you can click finish. And it, you can see it says it has finished with warnings. If you go to details, you'll see it's just the warnings that are in the program. Um, if I go back, it's just these warnings right here. So it's not a big deal. Uh, now if you go back to wherever you saved it and you double click on the icon, you can see it runs just like how it did in Eclipse. But you don't have to open up Eclipse for this to work. So this is a .jar file, but let's say you want to take it one step further and make it into a .exe file. So if you want to do .exe file, you need to download something called Launch4j. So you're going to go to your web browser of choice, go to Launch4j. And you're going to click on this link. And you're going to go to Download. And from here you can download and install it like you would any other program. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So once you have it installed, you can go ahead and find the app and open it. And now that it's open, you can uh, choose the output uh, file, which will be the exe file. So I'm going to do that in my desktop and say uh, snake.exe. And make sure it has the exe extension, otherwise it won't work. And then you're going to choose the jar file, which is uh, the snake game. So for the icon, you can just choose a uh, .ico file, um, which is just a picture. And that will uh, be the the what will show up on the top instead of the java will be like uh, whatever picture or icon you choose so i just have a random icon here um and you can leave everything else unless you have something you really need to change um and the rest of it um i'm gonna make this minimum i'm just gonna make it one because i don't think this has any requirement but if you know you have a minimum jre version that you need you, need, you should put that there um and then there's more options that you can do if you want um and then the last thing you're gonna do is you need to go to settings and you need to um, create this uh, launch4j configuration file. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to name it snake and then save. And now you can see I have this blue button. So if I click test wrapper, you can see now uh, it's opened and I can just play it like normally. And if I X out and I X out of this, now I have my snake game right here. And if I go to properties, I can see that is a .exe file, so it's an application. And the icon I chose is there, so if I double click it, it opens up um, the snake game. And even if I close Eclipse or whatever, um, it's still going to work because it's not dependent on Eclipse anymore. So yeah, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.